Hello everyone. In this lecture today, I'm going to talk to you about how to use the UCSC Genomic Browser. Okay, so first I'm going to show you how to get access, access to this browser. So you will type in UCSC, okay, so you know, browser, P R O W S E R browser. So then you will see this this okay so then you have to then click on this genome browser okay sorry okay i will go back and click on this ucsc genome browser okay and after that click on genome browser okay and here it gives you options okay so basically you might want to navigate to your nearest mirror genome euro us you ucsc.edu because i live in europe so i will click on this one okay but it's up to you you can select whichever you want or whichever the region you are nearest to okay i'm gonna click on this one and then after that okay so it it directly showed me human assembly but i can also select other popular species like human mouse rat zebra fish fruit fly worm yeast and it is also possible to access covid-19 genome actually okay so because i want to i want to get the sequence the transcript details of of, of from the from the human that's why i'm going to be choosing human assembly okay but you can choose whichever you want or whichever is your model organism so because my transcript is from human so i'm going to select i'm going to use this human assembly so for this what I will do is that by default it is December 2013, but you can go inside and you can see okay which is the latest one. So, so 2003, 4, 6, 9. So 2013 is the latest, so I'm gonna select this one because I want uh, the, the from the latest browser. Okay, so assembly, sorry. Right. So after that, here you need to put the search term. So this search term, as I would suggest you to put this standard. Uh, gene symbols or official gene symbols, right? For uh, gene names, for, for example, mine is transmembrane protease 2, so I will put TMPRSS2. Oh, sorry, it's 2. Okay, so now it shows me this, right? This is TMPRSS2, Homo sapiens transmembrane serine protease 2, transcript variant 2. So this is the refsec, reference sequence. So I will click. On this and after that I will click on go okay so I'm gonna click on go good so now I see my my zine here and you know this this new window this window opens up and so now this window is here but if you are interested in you know extracting your transcript sequence then what will you do is that you will click on the gene that you are interested in. For example, I'm. This is my interest. This just. This is my gene of interest. So I'll click here. Okay, I'll click here. Good. So after this, this is really really important. Okay, now I'm at really really important. This space is really really important because here, if you want to get the transcript sequence, then you need to click here in genomic sequence. Okay, so remember this genomic sequence. You will click here. Okay genomic sequence right so then it gives you several options if you want to extract promoter region you can check on promoter region or if you want to extract five prime untrusted region you can also check on that three prime untrusted region you can check on that cds region exons introns or downstream basis it's up to you okay whatever you want but for me personally today i want to extract three prime untranslated region. So I'm just gonna uncheck this, all of these, because I'm not interested in those. I just need three prime untranslated region of TMPRSS2, okay? My transmembrane proteases, okay? So after this, what I will do, I will come down and here is the option, the, the, the button submit. So I will click on submit button, right? So now you see, it gives me this three prime untranslated region of my transcript of interest. So my transcript of, inter, inter, transcript of interest was TMPR SS2. So then what I will do is that I'm just gonna 
copy this sequence. I'm just going to copy this sequence and then I will put in my Word document. Okay, so. Or in the, or you can you can put in you know whatever you want you know, also in the notes path okay so I hope this video was helpful in understanding how to extract the reason of interest from your transcript thank you very much for watching this video please subscribe our channel thank you very much.